Hi everyone, my name is Savannah Cantrell, and today I'm going to be presenting about the effective marking methods for the dole. The dole is a canid species native to East, Central, and South Asia. The dole is an endangered species due primarily to habitat loss and poaching. There is no clear population size or complete distribution estimate of the dole. This is likely due to the species lacking unique natural markers and a universal way to mark and identify individuals has not yet been established. Current marking methods for doles and similar species utilize genetic sampling, collars, and automatic individual recognition software. I will analyze these marking techniques and determine which one is the most effective for dole research. Genetic sampling uses specific parts of the DNA sequence to genetically mark and uniquely identify individuals. Genetic sampling of doles typically involves obtaining a sample of feces. Doles use shared latrine sites where they defecate in groups together. I thought it best to spare you the image of that, so instead I just shared the image of the pack. The shared latrine sites makes sampling for the doles convenient as the feces of multiple indiv individuals are at one location. Since researchers can drive around looking for these latrine sites, it allows them to cover a large sample area. Genetic marking is a quick and accurate way to mark individual doles. However, there is a large potential for human error when dealing with genetics, specifically when genotyping. Lots of samples need to be taken as well, since only a portion are good enough to use for DNA analysis. Additionally, DNA for certain studies, such as research involving population estimates, can be very costly. Collars, like the one pictured on the right, can be used to mark animals. The African wild dog, also pictured on the right, is a behaviorally similar species to the dole, and there have been multiple studies marking the African wild dog using collars, so this method could be applied to doles as well. Collars are beneficial because one collar can be used in a study for years. They are able to show a variety of data, such as pack size, breeding status, and pack composition. The studies of African wild dogs often require the capturing of animals in order to collar it, which could have a negative behavioral or survival effects. Collars can wear down over time or malfunction. Additionally, collars are used to identify packs of canids rather than actually marking individuals. Automatic individual recognition software is an artificial intelligence software that can identify animals to an individual level, even in animals without natural markings, such as the dole. It can use cameras or video taken from trail cams. It is highly accurate at identification and is able to track multiple animals at once. It has the ability to detect if an individual is a part of the target population being studied or if it isn't, which is beneficial because it would help keep data independent. Recognition software is an inexpensive method and the only fieldwork required is the setting up and taking down of field cameras. Unfortunately, the software needs to be trained to recognize most individuals and requires a database of individuals manually be set up. This setup is very labor intensive and time consuming. Additionally, high resolution cameras are needed to get accurate identification ratings. I recommend automatic individual recognition software as the most effective method for marking doles. Using artificial intelligence recognition software has proven effective at marking individuals and other species with no natural markers, and it is reasonable to conclude that it would have the same success with doles. It is able to accurately mark all individuals within a pack as well as identify unknown or new individuals. Since setup for the software can be time and labor intensive, I recommend a training program for researchers on how to use the software in addition to high resolution cameras. Here are my references that I used. Many involved dull research while others involved the African wild dog or species that were used for the automatic recognition software. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, I encourage you to comment down below.